First things first though, we have a question. The question is, what is Java? What's Java all about? When we have this question come up, you know, it, I like to go and, and do some drawing and describe it from more of a, of a picture point of view. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch up and maybe do like a, a white gore, whiteboard kind of thing here. Bear with me as I get moving here, there we go. And uh, I guess the first thing I should do is draw up just kind of a, a box here that represents what we call the, the Java Virtual Machine or the JVM. And so I'll put that in here, JVM. The Java Virtual Machine that's a, a fancy word for an interpreter. It's what knows how to take your Java code and, and run your code. The JVM is written specific to a particular platform. So there's a different JVM for Windows versus for Mac versus for Linux, etc. So I think it's written in C behind the scenes and it's ported from one platform to another. But the beauty of Java, one of their, their themes that you hear about, is that they're all about uh, write once, run anywhere. Write once, run anywhere, meaning you can write your Java code on one platform, like on a Windows platform, compile it, <laughs> and run it on various different platforms as long as they have a JVM available. So the JVM is living on these different uh, operating systems and your code can run on any OS because the JVMs have been ported to those the, the, those environments. So we need a Java virtual machine to run Java. We also need some sort of, of tools. And so I'll just put in here kind of generically, I'll put the word uh, tools down. And specifically the tool that we're going to be dealing with, well there's several of them, but one is that you're going to need to have the ability to, to run a Java program. And so one of the tools we're going to be seeing in this chapter is a tool called, well, interestingly enough, Java, J-A-V-A. -A. We're going to use that uh, as a command to take a program and run it within a VM, within a virtual machine. Well, there's other tools that you can use as well to run programs, but if we take the JVM, we take the tools, maybe we add in another box here. I'll call it the, the JRE, excuse me, not the JRE, the, um, the Java, API doc, Java API libraries. Java API libraries. API, application programming interface. Uh, libraries, maybe that's more, more appropriate here, the Java libraries. We need, we need a copy of the libraries to go with our JVM and with our tool sets. We take all that and we put it together, then we can wrap that with one big box around everything that I'll go ahead and call the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment, or JRE. So anytime you want to run a Java program, you need everything that the JRE uh, makes available. You need the Java libraries, you need a Java virtual machine, you need some set of tools like the, the Java tool to be able to run a program. So that's what you need to, to run Java programs. Let's say you wanted to write Java programs though. You need everything in the JRE plus you'd need more. Basically you'd need more tools. <laughs> in addition to the Java tool, you're also going to need to have another tool, for example, something called a, a compiler. The compiler that comes with uh, Java is called Java C. The C stands for compiler. And its job is to uh, take a program that you type in and convert it into what we call bytecode. We'll see more about that in a few pages. Bytecode is the instruction language that the JVM speaks. And so Java C takes your Java program, converts it into something the JVM knows how to work with. And there's other tools, things like a debugger and others that you get as well if you're going to be a, a Java developer. Well, I'll keep the diagram simple. I'll just stay with that. We'll say we have things in the JRE plus some extra tools. And we could go, I could be fancier here, but we'll just keep it simple. And we combine that together. And we have, part of my drawing skills here, we have what's referred to as the Java Software Development Kit, or the JSDK. And some people call this just the JDK. 
Uh, historically, it used to be just called the Java Development Kit. So the JSDK, the Java Software Development Kit, this is what you need if you want to write Java programs. If all you need to do is run them, you need the JRE. If you want to write them, you need the JSDK. So if you were to create some programs and you wanted to run them on somebody else's machine, all you'd have to install on their machine would be the JRE. But if you want to go and, and maybe on some other machine you want to be able to type in some programs and compile them and run them, you need more than the JRE, you need the JSDK. Well, Java is a language that's based upon, we'll go back uh, over to the, uh, the outline view again here. There we go. Java is an OO language. We'll talk about object-oriented later. It's got these big class libraries. I call them the Java API libraries. So oh, thousands and thousands, over 5,000 uh, different classes in there of reusable code that you can make use of. And we'll see a fair amount of those later on too. Uh, so Java is an, an OO language. It has these libraries. You're going to need to have a JRE. I just mentioned that if you want to run a Java program. The JRE has the JVM in it, it's got the libraries in it, it's got some tools in it. But if what you want to do is you want to write programs, you need the JSDK, and that includes extra tools like the Java compiler as well. I mentioned earlier, write once, run anywhere. Uh, it's funny, I've been doing Java since about 1997, and back in the day we used to say, write once, test everywhere, uh, because oh, those were the early days. These days it's pretty darn stable, but uh, you can write your program on one platform and run it on a different platform. It's one of the reasons that Java became so popular in the first place, is that you didn't have to put in extra effort to move it from one uh, environment to another. And finally, uh, I won't harp on this point, but at the very bottom, you know, you're going to find that when you work your way through Java, you might see similarities in the Java language versus things that you've seen in other languages. So maybe if you're a Perl developer and you work in Java, you'll see that they use regular expressions in a very similar way as Perl. Or if you're an Objective-C person or you're a C++ person, etc., you'll see a lot of similarities. Probably the most similar thing that Java has is to the C language in that most of the syntax was borrowed from the C programming language.